let's just, just keep... trying on my burke. I'll be here quietly. Trying on your burke. Enjoying. Mm. You gotta kick them up so we can see your new kicks. Well, let me, let me see if they fit first. <laughs> okay, you don't really have to show us. You don't want to take a look at my feet? Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to just get on wiki feet here? I was Start trying a little to foot thing. Yeah, see I what's going you, on. I want you to get on wiki feet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. It's been a two year long. <laughs> I know that was all about. I just had shots. my eyes on your feet the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how I know that I've hit it is like when somebody from the show gets on wiki feet. Uh, yeah. Popular <laughs> enough. Uh, all right cool. well hey guys what's up we're here uh we're gonna get richard's feet on the stream if we can if we can you know any minute now uh but while we're waiting on that let me read this recap that i wrote i can't guarantee all of it's there if i've missed something chime in and let me know uh but this is the gist after our heroes successfully fended off the demonic mist calling itself Shemshine, the Firefly Cellar was unlocked and the world was saved, unbeknownst to anyone outside how close they came to oblivion. The group, having been simply looking for a place to stay the night and being pulled into a fight for the sake of the world, you can imagine they were tired, and the keeper of the Firefly Cellar, Varnier, insisted they take the day off. She knew just the place and fetched a fellow avowed to lead them to the Rested Lily, a spa center located at the edge of the Feywild. Luckily for them, there was a shortcut through one of the books in the library. But the bad news was it had been checked out. Dreg told them no problem. He knew where the guy was. Uh, they can just swing by Falthrax's room and pop in. But when they get there, Falthrax is nowhere to be seen. In fact, a human named Loris dropped in hoping to find Falthrax as well. He had been depressed the last week or so, and Norris was just worried about him. Well, the group promised to pass on the message if they saw him. Uh, but after Norris, after Loris left, Dreg found the book, activated the portal, its portal, and sent our heroes on their way. Stepping through the portal led the group to the front steps of a beautiful spa called the Restful Lily. A wide, one-story building with a garden and a pool, and a three-story tower jutting from behind the building. Entering the main lobby, the group met Saith at the front desk and purchased entrance and a few other amenities. Eris would even purchase a room for them to stay the night. As they were checking in, the group were made to sign in and started asking if Falthrax was here, but apparently no one had heard of him. They were shown to a number of changing rooms where they could remove their armor and slip into their complimentary robes, and the group went around checking other changing rooms, trying to get a grasp on how many people were currently here. On their way into the spa, Kemet would pocket the sign-in book and tuck it into his shirt. Let me check something real quick. Okay. Our last stream, I didn't have any audio. I needed to make sure that that was working now. Oh, okay, good. Uh, okay. No one had heard of them. Grasp people were here. On their way to the spa, Kemet would pocket the signing book and tuck it into his shirt. As the group explored the spa grounds, they would observe a number of other guests and staff throughout the complex, including one of the main ladies of the house, Morgana who Mulligan started to seduce with his eyes. Maybe? Is that what was going on? You were kind of giving her some looks? Yeah, but he's too shy. Oh, I gotcha. He'd never make the first move. All right. Uh, Morgana was thrilled to see a group of adventurers pass through and offered them a deal. If they would be so kind as to help her clear out the bath and hot spring of an evil naiad, they could have the hot spring to themselves for the rest of the day. And she'd get her sisters to perform one of their highly sought-after treatments, the perfect self-portrait treatment, typically costing 1,000 gold. The group said they'd think about it and went to check out their rooms. On the way, Kemet and the group decided to snoop a bit. Peeking into a storage room of some sort, they ran into a staff member organizing supplies. But he would only smile, keeping to himself mostly. They would eventually make it to their room and have a moment to themselves, where Kemet would pull out the sign-in book and scan the list for Falthrax Loader, whom was listed a bit towards the top, and mysteriously had no sign-out signature. Interesting. 
Further down the hallway, Kemet and Mulligan began checking rooms to see if they were occupado. The first room contained a couple dwarves who came to the door expecting the room service someone claimed had arrived, but instead it was just Mulligan. And I forget the back and forth that happened, uh, but they went back in their room. Yeah. Uh, they were confused, but eventually headed back in their room for a nap. Another room was found locked, and from inside shouted shouted its occupant, one Jarlaxel Benre, who seemed to be upset that someone would be pestering such a high-profile guest. Eventually, Kemet found a locked room without anyone inside it and quickly picked the lock. Someone was definitely staying here, as evidenced by the unmade bed and the dirty clothes. It wasn't long before Kemet popped... Uh, actually, it wasn't a storage chest, now that I remember. It was a bag tucked under the the bed. Mattress. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and you immediately found... Was it three diamonds? Three diamonds, yep. Three diamonds that would burn themselves into his brain. He might not be able to leave here with them now, but he wasn't going home without them. Deeper in the ch in the bag, he found a holy symbol of Ilustri, the god of beauty, dance, and the hunt, as well as a chain shirt and a rapier with the unmistakable symbol of the Harpers carved into it, a secret society that works in the shadows to bring good to the Sword Coast. Locking everything back up behind him, Kemet, Kemet made his way back to the group, and they agreed to accept Morgana's offer and help them clear out their pool. As Morgana and Saith showed them to the pool, Kemet slipped the sign-in book back onto the counter, and they continued on to the pool where Morgana unlocked the doors and allowed them passage, locking them again behind her. Behind them, I guess. Uh, ahead of them was a beautiful hot spring to which Mulligan started to step down into. It wasn't a moment before Mulligan began to burn. The waters were turning acidic and acrid, and from below the surface a creature made completely of water emerged and attacked. The creature screamed that they were traitors and that Silvery would never condone this. They would pay for what they did, but before the creature could give a proper villain monologue, our heroes would come out victorious, and it was slain. And that's where we begin our story this week. The pool is now safe for swimming, and our heroes are free to move about the cabin. Mulligan, is it dead? Uh, I don't see it anymore, so I think it is. Um, I think that was kind of hasty of that wet lady. She, she could have talked to us a little, maybe told us some stuff instead of trying to kill us right off. Do you think pack. that a cup of water would be proof enough that we've destroyed it? So Commit looks around the, the pool to see if there's anything down at the bottom of where the... Mm, of where it was. was. Yeah. Mm, let's double check here. I don't think so for the most part. This, the pool here. I mean, uh, give me a perception. Okay, yeah, I mean, you're peering, you're walking around the sides of the pool. You're just trying to make sure you didn't miss anything. It, it seems like this pool is clear. Is and there any like... sign of the dead thing? Mm, no, not really. Okay. Well, if no one comes in here and gets attacked, I think that'll be proof enough, right? Yeah, I say we just open up the doors. <clears throat> that sounds good. Okay, so you guys go to the doors. Uh, and they're locked. We give a sh shave and the haircut knock. <laughs> oh, right. That was the sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Did you Done. do it? All finished. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. That's... That was awfully quick. Uh, Saith is there, has unlocked the door again. And is just standing there. Oh, well, wonderful! Oh, wow. Well, I mean, she, uh, Lady Morgana said that you'd be allowed free reign of the pool for the rest of the day. Um, should I just keep it locked off for now? Uh, well, she wanted it cleared, and it's cleared. I guess other people could go in here now. Well, sure. Yeah. If, I mean, if you if you have no if you're done, then. I'm sure we will. Oh. You got the ring fingers. I, I I was gonna go. 
suggest we walk around the uh, the grounds a little bit, kind of get our bearings. Oh. Um. Okay. I mean, don't. I mean, stay to the front yard for the most part, but sh sure. Fine. Why can't we go in the back? Uh, it's just not kept up very well. It could be dangerous. I, there's some broken windows back there. Just probably. We live for danger. Well, sure, but we just... I mean, it's part of my job to keep you away from it. Are I, you going to stop me? I. Uh... I guess not. I just can only urge you to, to, to be. Okay. Oh, okay. I won't. I won't try to go. I'm just. I'm just curious, sir. Okay. <laughs> you had me worried there. Oh. Okay. Well. What are you guys up to for the rest of the day? I appreciate that. Um. I'll start. I'll get the word out that the other people can come back to the pool. Uh, I mean, are you going to sign up for any other things? Get a pedicure. Manicure, work out in the garden. I heard Azissa is doing kind of a training class. I would love my toes to be manicured. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes, I, I would like to see that. No, he doesn't. We'll take a team. I, I could maybe use a nap. Oh, you're probably good for a nap too. Maybe some food. All right. Well, I mean, you've seen the place. I've got to get back. But, uh, sure, just let me know if there's anything I can get for you. Oh, um, how did I forget? I guess Morgana promised you a perfect portrait treatment. Um, when do you think I should schedule that for? Is it by appointment only? Uh, I mean, I don't think she has any booked right now, but I'd hate for her to be busy when you had an opening. If if, if there's a time you think it would be better, I'm happy to write it down. Let the sisters know. So maybe allow us to walk around, stretch our legs, and take a short nap, and then we can schedule it a little later this afternoon. Okay, yes, yes, uh, no, no problem, no problem. All right, well, you men, just let me know if there's anything I can do. Uh, and, and, well, I guess there's nothing else. I thanks. All right. I'm going to walk around a little bit. I think we should. All right, well, where are you guys uh, headed? I haven't been over here yet. Oh, yeah, they're just still chilling. Um, I mean, is there anywhere in particular we want to go? There's that stuff in the back that they told us not to go to, so. Ah, so we're Sorry. immediately going to the place we're told not to go to. <laughs> and after I told them, we wouldn't. I like where your head's at. <laughs> Well, you swing this door open to the to the uh, west. Uh, you find an iron fence overgrown with ivy surrounding this small little garden. Uh, an earthen path weaves between a scattering of trees, flower bushes, and stone benches. Various iron weights, wooden poles, and heavy sacks are strewn about the place. Uh, standing in the center of the garden um, is this... I'll show you a picture. Is this elvish woman... Uh, and she seems to be leading the rest of the group in uh, a kind of workout routine. They've got these chains that are attached to this large tree uh, that each of these guests are kind of trying to lift and throw. Uh, and do, yeah, no, <laughs> you've got to put more muscle into that. Oh, and they're like struggling. They're like having a really bad time with it. Oh, we've got visitors. I don't think we've met. I'm Aziza. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, Aziza. Hey. You guys Aziza. looking for a workout? I'm uh, just trying to... Go ahead, Mulligan. No, I'm just saying I was kind of looking for a nap, but hello. Hello. Well, this is no place for a nap, but I mean, maybe 
uh, work yourself out, get yourself pooped, and then the nap will just <laughs> take you away. No? Come on, Kizid, you can uh, lift it. I, I, I got it! So who else do we see there? Uh, you're, you're, okay, so you see the woman, you see this. Let me get, or I can show you all the different portraits. You got this kind of knight looking fellow. Uh, I guess they are in all of their armor at the moment. It's got a big burning fist symbol on his chest. Uh, and she's referring oh, to Channing Tatum. Kizid. Well, what? Who that? <laughs> uh, and then you see uh, two females. I mean, you can see their tokens. Uh, one blonde hair, one dark hair. Uh, they seem to be closer together. Uh, each one like kind of gives pointers to the other. Uh, one is almost checked out completely. It's just like, I just can't. I can't do it, Ozma. I just want to go back to the room. Oh, come on, Nevisol. We've got this. You're never, you're never going to beef up those muscles like that. Uh, and they're just kind of arguing back and forth. Ozma and Nevisol, I heard. Ozma and Nevisol, yes. Um, will you be joining us? So what are y'all? Are you buying? Uh, Patrick was talking first. Let's do that. Oh, what so, so what are y'all doing? Well, it's a it's a pretty hardcore workout. If you're up for it, I mean, it doesn't look like any of them are going to be able to earn this potion. She pulls out this potion from her back pocket. <laughs> you can little weaklings. But if you guys are up for it, I mean, I've still got the one. I didn't know it was a contest. You know, I can take a nap later. So, so I, so Commit walks back by Mulligan and says, "Hey, you stay out here. I'm gonna go back and get those diamonds while y'all are out here. <laughs> Have fun." Yeah. Oh, you're not staying. Uh, I'm gonna go take a nap real quick. I think my, you know, I think Mulligan will more than prove his worth here. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, he does. Look I'm like awfully the interested one. in that potion. You like the ocean? You said. I'm interested in that potion. Oh, of course you are. Okay, all right. Well, let's see. Let's see what to do first. We've got a couple activities. I guess let's start at the beginning. How are you with squats? Uh, I got little legs, so it's not too tough. Okay. What about you, uh, Green, sir? Wh what was your name? Mr. Um, it's Ares. Um, oh, nice to meet you. Ares. Will you be participating? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I will. All right, ladies. You can go. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on. Uh, one runs away, the other just runs after them. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's let's start out with something easy. Uh, let's get you guys into position. Which I, I don't know. Let's just put you in a square. All right. So squats first. Let's do it. Oh, do I have a workout song? Oh, I do, I do have a workout. <laughs> Oh, this is it. Okay, great. Uh, all right. So, uh, everybody start, uh, you know, just start, follow me. Start dipping down. Uh, oh, yeah, you feel that burn on your legs? We're going to squat and we're going to hold it. Uh, and each time you hold it, we're going to give you a constitution check. So, both of you, give me a constitution check. Oh, what's its face? Still isn't running. The, uh, yeah, the... The UI do, Dad. Yep. The what? Oh. Constitution. Okay, well, it sounds like you guys like that one. So let me just turn it on real quick, and then we'll, we'll do it. Okay. Yeah, it was super convenient. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, it says it is on. Maybe there's a setting. Boop, 
beep boop beep boop. Beep boop beep boop. Enable HUD for players. That's me! I'm a player! You're a player! Um, okay, well, as far as this says, it should be there. Need a... Well, it isn't, yeah, but... Yeah, that's true. Let me try to figure yeah, I got out Argon a HUD. few more seconds. I know that is on, but... You guys wanted the token action HUD. <clears throat> well, I did it through my character sheet. Yeah, I did mine too. But ace the hit. Uh, I'm happy to wait a second. Yep. Let's see. It's gonna force Reload. to refresh. Uh, it won't force it, but go ahead and refresh. Although I'm not sure why it's not showing up. It's on. It should be there, but well, if it doesn't come back up, I'll make sure that it's active for when we start Icewind Dale. Okay. Let's see. Alex, do you when you when you got people in two locations, do you prefer to kind of wait and do one scene than the other one, or do you want to do both of them in parallel? Uh, well, I mean, we'll probably have to jump back and forth a little bit, but like, not. I I'll I'll cut it up into little chunks. So let's get them their first uh, athletics thing, and then we'll jump to you, and then kind of jump back and forth. Sounds good. I had something that said ASE border template disabled due to override. That's fine. Okay. The calendar's there. Uh, token action, HUD classic item, macro, original item, or both? Oh. That's Is it plutonium? You? No. Yeah. Oh, uh, just click any of the stop signs that it's, uh, it has on there. Okay. Yeah, that HUD's not there. Yeah. Let me try one more thing before we just move past it. Uh, Unfortunately, there's there's an issue with that, so we'll just have to go off the character sheets, or okay, or use the argon, or use the argon. Yeah, it just doesn't show everything at once, which can suck. All right, great. Okay, so let's get back into it. You guys are outside. Although, what's broken with that? Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with it. All right, great. Okay, so you guys are uh, doing squats, right? So you guys have sit down. Oh, you're just trying to hold yourself in the squat position. I'm going to give Kizid one, and both of you give me a constitution. Oh, do we have it? Not a save, although I don't know if it matters. Oh, okay. Just a check. Do we want to keep... We can My just... modifier is the same. Okay, if it's the same, then cool. We'll just roll with that. All right, 15, 22. Kizid gets one. Let's see. Oh, God. I guess he's been out here already uh, and just falls to the ground. Oh, I got it! I, I got it. My freaking thighs, guys. Okay, next time. I'll get it. So you guys have both won the first round. So let's jump away from you. 
Let me find where Kemet is. Oh, he's uh, just right outside that door. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing to deal with on your way there, per se. Okay. Mm. All right. You're good for now. You guys, you just you slip uh, through the main uh, the main lounge room where a number of guests are still kind of hanging out. There's a guy at the bar who's trying to sell some sort of contraption to Morgana, who's behind the bar. She kind of waves at you as you go by. You head back towards the rooms and you stop in front of the one, one before. I guess give me that uh, sleight of hand. You went thie thieves tool or sleight oh, of hands? Thieves, yeah, if you can roll a thieves tools. Or well, no, 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 wait. I think your gloves sleight add of hand. to the sleight of hand. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's like you can't even fail that. <laughs> Hell yeah, you just come up. It's almost like you have the key. Just slip it in. You're able to get into the room without anyone noticing. Oh, I guess I'll unlock the door. Let you go in there. So beeline right to the side of the bed. Reach out. Grab the bag with three diamonds. Mm -hmm. po pocket them. Do a little dance. Put the bag back underneath and head back out the door. Okay. As you're heading out the door, this gentleman from the room to the side sees you coming out. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. Hello, my name is Mulligan. Oh, uh, hello, Mulligan. The name's Jean Axel Benre. You may have heard of me. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. You've not heard of me. No, I've heard of you. Pleased to meet you. Oh, wonderful. Well, nice to meet you as well. Is uh, Did you have any questions? No, I'm good. I was just uh, locking my room up and heading back out. You don't mean to sign anything? No, I'm, you're, you're, well, do you, would you sign something? Sure. Sure, yes, okay. of course. So I, I roll through a little scrap of paper, pull it out, and could you make it out to mom? Of course. I'll make out with your mom. <laughs> All right. Jalaxu. How do you spell that? X L E B. That's it. And he scribbles the rest of it. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, you should be able to get a lot for that. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Mom will be proud. <laughs> I bet you will. Let me know when she gets here. All I'm right, just thanks. kidding, kid. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, he heads into the main room. All right. Well, you're not caught. You've you claim to be Mulligan, and that this is your room. Uh, but great. <laughs> okay, so I'm head, heading back out here toward the uh, toward the exercise. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's cut back again from you. Let's say you get that far. We'll cut back to the exercise. Yep. All right, guys. All right, you've held him. You've held him. Let's do. Let's do another another squat. Let's go down one more time. Let's do it. Constant. Let's do two more <laughs> con checks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kizit is sitting there holding it. Oh, my God. But you still outdo him. He seems to be upset. Ah, oh, come on! I, I've been I working out all day. You just got here. I pick, up, I pick up one foot and hold it on one leg. How <laughs> <Yes. laughs> is... Okay. <laughs> Sure. Uh, and Eris, let's roll for Eris. I guess he said BRB, unless you're back. And I look at Zisa right in the eye as I do it. Like, Err. Oh, okay. Wow. You're really okay. This is not hurting you at all, is it? I switch legs. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do something a little bit more challenging. Uh, Eris just barely like he's almost gonna fall over he just made the dc for that one okay all right one last one we're gonna hold it for a little bit longer it's gonna be a 30 second squat one more time guys one more roll he's got to beat a 16 this time they keep getting harder as she works out the muscles in your legs all right 
Hell yeah. Mulligan holds steady, just showing off for Aziza. Okay, that's impressive. I was hoping to see a little bit of burn, but, uh, you know, good for you. You're like, uh, you're like the, the, the kid from Mexico who signs up for Spanish class. <laughs> oh, Eris, you can do it. Come on. Did I roll for Eris? No. Oh, Eris falls over. He's going to be mad. He rolled a one. All right. He fails that. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that one goes to our friend Mulligan. It looks like he had a little bit of practice. So let's let's see if we can switch things up, uh, make things a little bit more challenging. Now, let's jump back to Kemet. I'm not sure if you're just headed right back to where you were. You head through this room. Uh, I guess Jarlaxle is just kind of like trying. Oh, we'll put him down here. Shit. I'm in the wrong thing. He's at the bar at the moment, uh, just kind of schmoozing with Morgana, uh, seeing if he can get some free drinks. Uh, I just, I just kind of quietly try to walk to the room nonchalantly, not not attract any attention. Okay, uh, just give me a. Hmm, it's not a stealth, a performance, like just, you know, acting casual. Okay, 12. We'll see. All right, great. So you, you, you're making it back from this place. Uh, these people are probably not there, whatever. Uh, and you're just, where are you headed? Just right back to the garden? Right back to the garden. Okay. All right, so you, you come back out onto the garden uh, right as Eris is falling onto the ground. Uh, she's marking one point on a, on a chalkboard for Mulligan. Oh, that was a quick nap. Felt great. Wow. Plus, I wanted to see. I wanted. I wanted to see if Mulligan. I could lay down, and I said to myself, "I wonder if Mulligan can actually do this." I wanted to see if he was up to your challenge. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well. Uh. I take a look. I mean, I guess he's a little bit better than you thought. He's not having a problem at all. So you must nice. be. You didn't look like an elf. Well, I won't question it. You've just got a trance ability. Uh, all right. Well, are you in? Would you uh, you want to participate in the next round? Sure, sure. I'll go, I'll, I'll go in the next round. Okay. All right, next round. Where did my fucking notebook go? Oh, there you are. All right, next round, everybody on either side of the chain. We're going to do a, a tug of war. Oh, no, sorry. Not either side of the chain. Uh, she, she clips it to the tree. I guess it's hanging off the tree. Uh, she waggles her fingers at the tree sparkles come around it and the, the tree starts to tug and move around it starts to pull on the chain all right guys it's you against the tree each of you all right when i yell tug we tug now tug we're gonna do an athletics check to pull against this tree I feel like this is uh, weighted towards <clears throat> Mulligan. That's what Eric <laughs> says as he, as he grunts. That oh, negative. No. Oh, no. You have a negative <laughs> and a one, so you have a zero. Okay, well, let's talk about the flavor on Kemet and Eris's turns. I mean, the gist is you get pulled to the ground, but I don't know. Do you want to add any flavor to this? How does this work? What does a zero look like for Kemet? So, uh, so commits really trying. He reaches down. He starts to pull, and as soon as he pulls, his feet just slide out from under him, and he goes kind of, kind of, flips backwards, and probably knocks into Eris a little bit right here. Okay. <laughs> that, yeah. That probably is why Eris falls as well. You fall down. You fall prone in that moment, and you take three bludgeoning damage from the the quick fall into the ground. I got that. Uh, Eris, what happens to you? You also fail. What does this look like? Any flavor you'd like to add? Well, it's immediately Eris gets up and is like, I could have won it if this guy... Oh, gosh, I'm so close. Just making up every sort of excuse he possibly can. The rope's too short, man. If the rope was longer, it would work better for my long arms and long body. This, this is totally weighted towards Mulligan. It's not fair. I did nothing of the sort. You're just uh, not an athlete, I guess. 
Okay, well, that one goes... Wait, what was Mulligan's check? Do we have a Mulligan check? Yeah, 23. 23. Oh, 23, of course. Okay. Well, yet again, uh, he's just showing off. Uh, but again, okay, I go back. She gives you another check mark on the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Last thing. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you on this one. Um, oh, chain skipping. All right. I'll grab the chain on one end. You guys will kind of jump rope it. And you just got to see how long you can stay in the game. All right, so she starts swinging this chain, this heavy chain up in, in loops over you guys. Uh, you have to jump and jump and jump. Give me a, an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? Yeah. Oh, do we have? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I got little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Kemet and Eris both jump over it, no problem. But yeah, I guess you got a little, you get swept. Your legs just get swept up from under you. Uh, and I do believe you take some damage here. You, you, uh, you, you fall to the ground and then the chain comes down and hits you in the side as it's spinning. You take three damage from that. Ow. Okay. Uh, mathematically, hmm. I jump just as high as them comparatively to my height to theirs. Okay. This game is not fair. Well, that sounds like a bunch of excuses. Sounds like you lost that one. <laughs> All right. Well, what, what have we done here? We've got two for you uh, and one for each of them. No. No, just one for... Well, I guess they, got haven't three. Won. they haven't won anything. Don't they I have three? three? No. No? What is it? How many how many squats did I have? How many uh, squat checks did I have to pass to pass squats? It was three. So you passed squats. You passed tug of war. You yeah. just didn't pass chain skipping. Okay. Uh, and you know what? Since we let we left Kemet out, let's have let's see how if he can do the squats. So just give me three constitution checks right in the row, Kemet. Ten four. Okay, first one passes. Second one fails. All right, you fall to the ground, unable to hold yourself up for all three rounds of squats. So that, and you know, I guess let's, I guess that just gives it to Mulligan. We don't gotta go further. Okay. <laughs> well, are we, I guess it, this is kind of moot. We all know who the stronger one is here. It's Mulligan. Fine, you can have the potion then. It's what kind of potion is it? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't I like I to would tell like you? To know. Of course, it's a potion of <laughs> hill giant strength. Not that you need it, but uh, you've earned it. That's pretty awesome. Sounds like it come in handy. I'll stick it in my bag. <laughs> okay, she reaches and just shoves it into your bag. Okay. How well, do I get my hit points back? Your what? Oh, did we How hurt you? How do I get you? my hit points we back? Hurt you yes. A bit? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess take a take a bath, maybe sleep it off, get a manicure. I heard that's kind of rejuvenating. I mean, the pool does bath? have rejuvenation properties. Oh, but, it does. But I mean, it's occupied. It's kind of been. Guarded by a preacher. Oh, oh we, we can, fixed we that. Stay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Oh, well, I guess you could. Yeah, you could dip into the hot spring. Wow, you fixed that. Okay, no problem. It was just easy. Mm. P pretty much. Okay. It's really what we're built for. Hmm. Well, great. If there's no problem, there's no problem. Wonderful. Okay. Well, if that's open, then. Uh... I guess you could do that, but uh, I mean, I'm done with you. One, one quick question before sure. uh, before we leave. You know, we we came. Uh, Altrex told us he was gonna be out here working out and to come meet him. But the uh, have a uh, have you seen him? Who's when this? Was the last time you saw him, Valtrex. Valtrex. Was he was he out here this time or the time before? Um, I'm pretty good with names, but I don't. 
That one doesn't ring a bell. What is is he tall guy? Well, he's he's rather distinctive. You'd know him if you saw him. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say that I have. Kizit, if you have you seen uh what you say Valtrex? Uh Is that a shorter No, he's not seen him. No he's not here. With uh, Kizit, I was just asking is like to be nice. He's I'm sorry guys. Uh, I, the name doesn't ring a bell. Oh, thanks, thanks. Say, hey, I guess we'll go inside for a drink. Kizit, would you like to come here and uh grab a drink with us? Yeah, I got to rest my legs. All right. All right. I'll come with you guys. I got kind of embarrassed. Well, what's your drink of choice? It depends. I think we all have something a little different. All right. And Commit's kind of looking back toward Aris and uh, Mulligan and trying to give the eyes. I'm coming. I think he wants to kiss us, Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not down for that. But not Not yet anyway, right? Not yet. Gotta get a few drinks in me. Okay. So I uh, look over to Kismet and say, Kismet, what's your drink of choice? Uh, I like a flaming goblin, but w what do you guys got here? Oh. Let's see. Do I have... I don't think I have a menu for the actual... That. Uh, let's... Hang on. I think there might be something. Well, I mean, I can throw together... I could try to throw together something or something like it. You say a, a flaming goblin? What are the main things in that? Oh, uh, uh, alcohol. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you want to get? I got gotcha. you. All right. Let's see what I can do. Uh, what about you guys? Let's have six of those. Six. What do you? What do you? Goblins? What do y'all think? Um, I don't drink. I'll oh, drink two. Oh, six I'll then. Just... I'll just have some grub juice squirted into a glass, please. <laughs> okay, well, that sounds... Delightful. Yeah, I agree. that's what I was going to say. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, that's let's, a good word. Let's see, let's see what Green Song can whip up. Greeny! Okay, so the, we're looking for something that resembles a flaming goblin. We want you guys say six of them. Six, yeah. Six of them. Okay, so they want six of them. Can we, can we do something? Okay, I guess we can try to figure something out. Okay, yeah. Let me see what I got. Uh, you just hear rummaging around in the kitchen, uh, as they're trying to fix your drinks. I guess, uh, cause it's ch chilling there with you. I guess just j Jarlaxle's there. So, uh, I, he's just uh, he's just looking at you waiting for someone to like say something about him maybe uh, hey guys you guys stay in here so I'll walk up to Jarl Axel excuse me yes are you Jarl Axel <laughs> it is I you recognize me from the way I look Yes, that's fantastic. Can oh, we switch wow. spots? Oh. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> give me a persuasion. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know if that would be fair to my fans who have obviously surrounded me. What is that, 20? <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I just, I'm just going to tell look, Well, the reason is, uh, someone like you should be close to the bowls of fruit and stuff, because I, I know that's, you're, you're, you're like, like that stuff, you know, bright oh. and colorful and, and delicious. Okay, fair enough. That's awfully kind of you. Thank you so much. Um. So what's up, what's up, guys? He's just like trying to. He's now the guy at the end of the line. He's trying to get attention. He's just leaning around. Uh, you know, well, I don't know actually how this module wants me to do this. Uh, I, just everybody give me a history check. I think we've met before. 
Iris. <laughs> oh no. I think you're my father. <laughs> yeah, it must Daddy. be. Daddy. Yeah. No, no. Well, I maybe. I don't know. I've been around. Are you my son? I may or may not have seen you before. I never thought I'd slip with any gifts. Laxel, I think those two ladies are they keep looking over here to your way. Do you know do you know them? Me? No, but they probably know me. Hello, ladies. It is I. If you want autographs, I'm happy to give them. Or donations. Love. Father, may I have an autograph, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, my son. Uh, this is strange. Um, where, uh, where are you from, son? Um. Where was it that I the place where made my yeah, seed? From. Oh, of course. I don't remember. Being you probably there, just, but... I mean, you probably just had like a dream once. And in that dream, you probably laid some seed. What am I, beholder? <laughs> oh. It's the, uh. That's how uh, all of us get there, Morn. Father. Wait, did you I just... take out my, uh... Um, I'm, re I'm retconning. I'm telling you how get there, Morn, now. Guess <laughs> what? I'm right in this universe. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. I'm... Just to grasp what you just suggested. I mean, it's canon. It's no. canon now. But they just come and Gith... sleep and then get there, Morn? <laughs> so, Gith live on the, uh, plane... Oh, no, that's not the ethereal. Ethereal plane is the dream plane. Nope, I was wrong, because Limbo is not the ethereal uh, plane. Um, you died. Well, uh, I think it is. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Father, you, you most likely appeared in a uh, as a dream in the realm of Limbo, and, you know, had a good yeah. time in that dream, perhaps with a, a gif you met. But I thought I thought dreams were free reign. I, I didn't think I had consequences for my actions in dreams. It's a magical world. Oh, Congratulations. Wow. Okay, well... Kids, I've keep it in your pants if you're watching. Now. All right, well... You have no idea. It could happen any time. <laughs> look, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but you have no claim to my riches. The so. uh, it was nice to meet you. Um, okay. Well, hold on. I need my autograph. And if you could make it out to your very favoritest boy, I would really appreciate it. My very favoritest boy. Yeah. Of course. Me. He signs one of the first. Paris Bainry. <laughs> he signs an orange for you. I, uh, I didn't have a last name until now. So I tell him. It's Paris Bainry. Ah, uh, of course. So you came, you must have come here looking for me. I didn't think I was, but I am now. Is oh. his name Faltrix? What a Where are we going, Father? <laughs> Son, you know, I'm kind of a free spirit, you know? Um. I'm not sure uh, if uh, I have to go and get some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you, son. I'll be back with cigarettes very, very soon. That's, that's what my last father said, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Well, wait, you're maybe you can get them and bring them back. Yep. Yep. I'm on it. Be right back, son. So, Kismet, the uh, how is a uh, I tell you that that workout lady, she's pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, a little bit too tough. I mean, she was she had me going for hours. She seemed to like it, seeing me struggle. But uh, I mean, I guess that's just the job of a workout instructor, right? Yeah, you think you think Valtrex pissed her off or something? I mean, he he probably couldn't do it that for that long, right? Yeah, I mean, I can imagine a lot of people couldn't do it that long. So, but what is it? You know, I don't know the name, but you're looking for. I thought. I don't know. I thought there was a guy I heard in the background maybe said the name, but then she said he wasn't and kind of cut me off. So I, I don't know. What he, is this a friend of yours? Yeah. So it sounds whether it's him or not, it sounds like a good story. What do you remember this guy for? Short guy. Uh, let me get some specifics here. He's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, 
kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a downer. Always looking at his feet. He's a shorter old guy. Big old. Yeah. M- wait, no. I mean, yeah, I guess he was kind of old. Not the oldest. I don't know. Shit, you're kind of short though. Is that the guy you're looking for? <laughs> I think so. The uh, what's what, what happened to him? I mean, I don't know. He was here one day. I thought he checked out. He's just here for a day, I guess. He uh. Oh, he signed up for that, uh, procedure. I remember that. I remember over here, and he signed up for the perfect portrait treatment. Ah, uh, that explains it. Yep, he probably got his procedure and left. Yeah, he must have got the, yep, got that portrait done and took off to hanging up at his mansion. Well, that sucks you just missed him. Were you supposed to meet him here? Ah, uh, you know, we were going to make it work if it happened. And we weren't weren't planning on it for you know weren't dependent on it. Okay, but no big deal. And you can still partake. It's a pretty nice place, right? I mean, yeah, we were gonna go out explore out back soon. Have you you been out there? No, no. What's out back? I hear they got you know a, a sparring range, you know some a uh, ar- an archery range that kind of stuff. Oh wow, that wasn't on the list. Yep. I, I was to hoping to throw some axes. Yep. Holy crap. They got a whole bunch of stuff back there they're not even telling me about. It. Okay, well, look, I got to rest my legs for now. I'm all worn out, but I'll probably see you out there later if you're still you're still throwing axes and shit. Sounds good. Well, you, hey, don't blow us off. Come out there and see us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to blow you off. I just got to get some rest, but uh, if you're out there later, I'll definitely join in. Oh, definitely. Let's let, well, look at least wait for your drink to come back out. Yeah, that's no. I'm, that's definitely what I'm waiting for. All right, hang on. I had to look up something. So I'm kind of kind of. Waiting around, you know, eating a few peanuts or whatever they have here at the bar, and I'm looking at Mulligan and Eris, and I'm saying, I say we have our drink and just beeline it outside to see what's out there. Um, fine with that. Dine and dash. Yeah. Dine and dash. (laughs) Oh, they're going to bill it to our room. Oh, I'm definitely going to bill it to the room. I'll, I'll tell them, put it under Eris. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, just everybody else's names. <laughs> all right, Morgana comes back out uh, with a tray of six different drinks, all looking the same, lays it out on the counter, passes it out to everybody. Where'd Charlex will go? Uh, he said he was buying this round, and then he was stepped out for a moment. Oh, I can't put everything... He was getting a lot of stuff for free. I can't just cover the whole thing. Well, he said he was going to pay for it. He did. Oh, yeah. That does not sound like him. He said, bill it to his room and he'll pay for it before he checks out. I'm his yeah, son. Th- to be honest, he... You're his son? Okay, well then maybe... All right. Well, look, if he doesn't Eris pay for them, I'm coming to you. Eris Benry. Okay. All right, well, that, I'm just saying, um, if he doesn't come back and pay for it, then uh, it's, it's on you. Because, uh, to be Sounds- honest... He's been trying to use his celebrity this whole time just to get free stuff, and I'm at the I'm at my wits' end. Well, anyway, not enough complaining. Here's your drinks. She passes them out. So we've I'm gonna got take a- we've got two extra here, or one extra if Mulligan drinks two. Oh, I just drink three. Morgana can drink with us. That's true. Oh, no, 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 no. This is special made for you. No big deal. I don't drink on the job either. No, come on. Just a toast. Yeah, come on. Just one drink. Oh, guys. I don't... I don't know. I'm one of the head ladies here. Give me persuasions. Just from everybody. I don't, I don't know. She fans herself. Oh, I I've got to be I got to keep my head on my shoulders, guys. What are the numbers? 10, 12, 16. No. 
12, 16, and 10. Oh, the 10 was right. All right. Uh, everybody's trying to nudge her to do it. Uh, Mulligan. Finally, I don't know what you say that convinces her, but... Okay, fine. All right. One, one, one little sip. I'm not drinking the whole thing. All right. Well, uh, ready? Let's to Jarlaxle. To Jarlaxle. To Jarlaxle and his son. Cheers. 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 She hits it on the, the counter. Brings it to her mouth. Oh. I'm looking at her. Does she re does she sip it? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. From looks what like, I see, she sips it. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll sip mine. Okay. Yeah. Kizid takes his and. Hmm. All right. Now this is a special brew. It's it's supposed to you know it's anti antioxidant. It's it's toxic, is what I mean. It's gonna it's make you sweat out all the bad stuff. No worries. But you guys, yeah, you guys start to feel kind of sick to your stomach. Not enough to be poisoned or anything, but you just are not feeling the best. Uh, I'm not going to take I another step. I feel fine, step. though, because I grub juice, I assume. Uh, no. Did they give me bad grubs? They gave you... <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's your serpent balls on bad grubs? These bad grubs? <laughs> oh, I thought we had the finest grubs. Are those... I, Green so Mulligan, you get to, Where did you get these from? Are these out drink, of the garden? Drinking the second one, Mulligan? I yes. am not drinking the second one. What's the matter, guys? You're not trying to detoxify? It makes my tummy hurt. Oh, you just got to push through it, you know? I mean, working out makes my muscles hurt, but then they, they, they get strong. So I, t I turn to the guys and I say, are you all ready to go check out that axe, axe throwing range? Oh, yeah. Are you guys leaving so soon? Oh, we'll be right back. I, I, was, I was thinking I might want to take a little dip in the pool because uh, I'm feeling a little sore from the altercation oh, of earlier. Course. Well, the pool is all yours for the rest of the day. Oh, when were you guys? Uh, just ours? Well, that's what I had promised him. You... Oh, yep. Oh. Yep, that's great. I know you told Saya that that wasn't necessary, but she hasn't been told that. So she's like, yeah, I mean, it's all yours. Um, and, you know, what, can we schedule your painting? I just, I've got to get with my sisters and, and get it all together and make sure. Can we get that on the books pretty soon? Maybe a couple hours, maybe? Sounds great. Okay. Are we going sure. to do it all together or you want us each individually? Um, I guess we can, I mean, we have to do them individually, but you guys can be there if you want. Actually, you know what? We should start with yours first. What do you think? I think we should sounds, do it after dinner. Yeah, sounds good, but let's do it after oh, dinner. Yep. I'd hate to keep putting it off, but okay, whatever you say. I just, we, we paint better in the morning, in, or the earlier it is. So the sooner we can get it, the better. Did you pick me because I look bad or something? I mean, are you trying to say something about No, no. No, it's nothing about you. I just, you were the one talking to me. I just figured you should be the one to go first. Listen, I, I know I had, don't have a lot of hair, but it's, 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 the, it's the style now, right? I mean, this looks good, doesn't it? I think it, it looks great. Does, it does look yeah. good, but I mean, it seems okay. like maybe that's on your mind. Um, we should all talk about what you'd like your paintings to be. I mean, would you like a full head of hair? Yes, I, you know, I would. Let, let's let's table that till till after dinner. But I, I appreciate you for bringing that up. Yeah, I mean, I just want to get plan like you know, like a tattoo artist. I want to get the designs figured out and what we're doing for you. Well, what about you, Mulligan? What what could we give you? What what don't you like about yourself? 
What could be better? I uh, guess maybe I could be a little bit taller. Oh, could be a baller. Okay, yep. yeah, taller. <laughs> Okay. I don't know the next lyric. <laughs> What's the next line of that song? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I, wish I, was... I would call her something. That... No, there's like a couple of beats. And I... Well, it's something I wish I had a phone and a number and I'd call, call her. her. Something like that. Yeah, okay. We're... Cool. I've got ADD, so I'm happy to look this up right now. God damn it. Meow. Right, meow. There you go. Amazon. Is this, yeah. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Yeah. Oh. All right. Anyway, back into the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, and what? And Eris, how about your painting? What? What would you like? Ooh, in you know. They tell me I'm perfect. Mm. Everyone says that. Actually, Everyone in fact, says it's that. the first thing most. It's the first thing most people say to me. Um, oh. Well, I'm so sorry. I didn't. You're forgiven. As an imperfect being, I, I understand. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. What would I like? You know what? I think the only thing I would change about myself is I don't think... My toes are yellow. And I'm not a big fan of yellow. I'd like them to be like a, a fuchsia or... Mauve, perhaps. Okay, interesting. You want your toes to be mauve. Great. Wow. I've never had that one before. Is that the right? Did I get that color wrong? What's mauve? Yeah. No, I don't know. It's, it's a color. I don't know. It's like plum. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought for a second it was beige, and then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes, a uh, beautiful fuchsia or mauve color would be ideal. Why don't you try puce? Oh, Puce? Puce. <laughs> I don't know that color. Sounds gross. I like it. Okay, uh, well, I'll get some ideas rumbling around, and then later we can take you back to the studio and paint oh, it. Oh, good color. Dark red or purple brown. Okay. You're going to get some Puce toes? Totally. The problem is it would really clash with the blood of my enemies. Oh. Ah. Uh, do you like that. to dip your toes in the blood of your enemies? Who does yeah, that? I, I kind of, I'm kind of holding the door open, kind of listening to this conversation. I'm like, guys, remember, we're going to see the axe range. Right. What is this? Where is this axe oh. range? Oh, we're going to go outside and do a little workout. Okay. Oh. Throw some axes at some trees, you know, stuff like that. Oh, they're your your axes. I got them right here. Uh, I got you. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, to meddle. Well, you guys have fun. I guess meet me in a couple hours and we'll get the paintings done. That's a plan. Perfect. To the rear. So the door is out fr there. There wasn't a door to the rear, was it? Do we, do we have to go out front and walk around, or do you want to go try to go in the back? I think we got to go out front and walk around. Yeah. Yeah, from where there wasn't you've one been so the... far, there haven't oh. been doors that you've gone through that have. Oh, those windows we could see through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, I don't know. I'm getting the creep, getting the creeps for a uh, this portrait. Yeah, she seems pretty persistent about that. Yeah, and the last time our souls here forever. Last time old Valtrex was seen was right before he did his. Yep. Oh, by the way, the uh, I went back in there and got those diamonds. And I say I tossed one diamond to each of them. <laughs> oh, Ooh. nice. Much obliged. Yep. There you go. 